<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Happy Friday, Brian. Happy Friday. Happy episode 18. Happy post NFT NYC. I'm glad you're feeling better. Um, yeah. you, you, you know, the, the odds of getting sick were high there and uh, I got lucky and you didn't, even though we hung out at the same time. So yeah, uh, it's a real, um, it's like when you mint a PFP and you don't know if you're going to get a good one or a bad one. <laughs> that's, that's how I, I, I positioned it with my wife and she was totally cool with that analogy. And then, yeah, until he got her sick. Until she got COVID. <laughs> and then she yeah. Got... <laughs> yeah. But um, we're fair. all, we're getting better. I'm glad you didn't get it. I'm glad uh, everybody, you know, a lot of people didn't get it. And you know what? You know, maybe I'm lucky, but also I'm glad that most people didn't get it. Um, but that's yeah. just uh, the luck of the draw. But it was great to see you. It was great to see so much art. I wasn't there every day, but uh, but it was all, the vibes, the vibes felt really good. Uh, what yes. was your experience? I agree. I think what we saw in the past couple of years is, a lot of the PFP projects, whether it's the apes or, you know, whatever, they all have moved on to other v venues, other yeah. cities. Uh, and what has remained in New York is the art scene. And so I feel like every day there was multiple art events. I got to see so many cool people. There was a few cool PFP um, events like Cyber Brokers. Josie's event was yeah. wonderful and it was full of OG artists. And like, you know, I think the, the PFP projects that hold a lot of artists uh, were a lot of fun as well. Um, and yeah, I just thought overall the, the attitude was great though. I will have a, a caveat that anybody willing to fly to New York for NFT NYC is probably still bullish on the space. So mm -hmm. you get a very optimistic slice of the space. Sure. Um, but it certainly, um, made me feel optimistic and bullish about everything. Yeah. No, I always walk out of those with like, uh, thankfully, uh, like a feeling of electricity, like a feeling of, of, um, you know, you're not alone. This is going to work. We're all going to keep, you know, having fun and making stuff and making dope stuff. You know, like, I feel like it's, um, it's never been disappointing at least in that regard. So I'm glad that the takeaway was, was the same for you. Yeah, uh, no, it was great. And, uh, you know, unfortunately our guest today wasn't there, but we get to spend time with him today. I was going to say, we didn't see everybody, but that's, uh, that's why we have this show. So we can see, see all our friends. So without further ado, we have, um, an incredibly talented, like, dangerously talented dude uh we're gonna welcome to the show performer singer dancer uh animator um just all around amazing artist ed balloon welcome to the show hey y'all i ain't no animator before they try to come for me but ah, you well you create creative animation yeah. i'm a creative, creative director. director let's say that yeah. really good yeah. creative director <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I know. Like yeah. um, you, but hey y'all yeah. hey you, you do it all. I mean, you didn't even touch. We didn't. We've shown it on the show in the past, but you're also a, a director of generative art. I would yes. say, you know, um, a collaborator, if yeah. you will. But um, yeah, you, you you touch in so many different areas of the space. Have you done AI yet? I assume you have, right? No, no we haven't. Oh, touched AI. okay. That is oh, okay. I, and I, I'm really afraid. I'm not saying I'm afraid of touching AI. Before like, I have to be really careful how how I say that. Because, <laughs> Are you against AI? A balloon oh, hates AI, right now, fears and technology. It's not that, it's, it, I really want to make sure that there's purpose and intentionality with using that, like that medium. Mm -hmm. And and so it's something I'm thinking about, but I want there to be a really good use case versus, you know, I'm also not someone who's like, oh yeah, everything should be AI. I would like, you know, dabbles in pieces of like AI in a piece yeah. um, versus it just being fully all AI. Um, and so that's something that I am trying to see how it will work with, you know, uh, how it would work uh with me using it and things like that but yeah I'm, yeah that's that's no, it's, it's gonna get crazy i mean I, i've been playing with that sono app which generates full entire songs with lyrics so you're and playing it too? that's illegal yeah. what? <laughs> i think it's illegal like right like I what think what what are you saying well, illegal all, all ai is like kind of <laughs> it's all but it's like, all it's unethical really sure like, it's like kind of i mean yeah yeah it feels um, like a cheat though. It feels like a cheat that like we've we've hit the end. I was telling Brian, it feels like we hit the end of our usefulness as a civilization, as humanity. Like well, I think it's like you can't use that music, right? You can just make it, but you can't like sell it or anything like that. Or oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I haven't looked at I just make can. it to make me laugh. Yeah. It's wild. But yeah, and it's actually pretty good, right? It's you like, oh, it is it, for well, the longest time it's kind of been trash. Like, okay, this is not, but it's no. actually pretty good. Well, it's like pop music is a science, you know, there is like 
there is like set rhythms that connect with the brain, right? And I feel like it's tapping into a lot of those things. I, yeah. My only fear is that, um, you know, I, I, I appreciate AI. I, don't, I just, it's still this organic. Uh, and I, you know, I just, the rawness of certain things is that always, I was actually watching something regarding AI and Sam Altman, and he was like speaking and he was like talking about, oh, when AI becomes, you know, when it, I mean, lack of a better word, when it takes over, uh, or when it's more prominent, um, uh, the things that are going to like you're going to need or are going to be necessities is creativity. Of course, they always say creativity, whatever. Um, and you know, but like authentic things and like the rawness, organic. And I'm like, okay. And I'm not sure if he's saying that to just be like optimistic and making people feel like oh, they still matter, or if it's actually going to be right. So <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, when I when I look at your work, Ed, I think it has a rawness, it has a humanity, and it has you instilled into the work in a way that, you know, AI can replicate certain aspects of what you do, but it would never be the same. And so, and I feel that way about my own art with AI is that AI can replicate what I've done in the past because that exists, but can it predict what I'll do next? I don't think so. And that's where as a as an independent artist, we still have an advantage of, we have full autonomy over our own direction versus, uh, you know, AI, which is mostly replicating already created stuff. Yeah. 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 I think, I think, I think you do a really good job at having a unique voice and perspective um, that is very, like, you're very good at separating yourself out from the crowd <laughs> of noise. Cause like, you know, there's a lot of noise in general, like, and, and your, your work, stands out like i i didn't even think to put it on the show today but there's like i've bookmarked one of your songs that i liked like two years ago that i don't own and i, just I know the in. song i appreciate you it. know it i just have it on my phone and i just like i play that i'm just like this is this and is that it. was before like the space even had like better platforms to it didn't have anything music. yeah like exactly. so like <laughs> it was yeah like, <laughs> you, you launched i appreciate Zora. that a lot um, yeah. Thank you so much. But it's been great to see your evolution too, with, with like the, the technology and also you as an artist. Like here, I'll pull up this piece over here. This one, this is trap balls, a lock tree. <laughs> Are we fucked? Um, and I'm gonna play a little bit of music for a moment, and just a heads up: this is the first time I've figured out how to play music on here, and it is only Let's one go. volume, and that volume is on. Here we go. <laughs> We fall for those like every time, but still I must know when it gets hard that you will hold the line. It's coming up, it's coming up. I, I want to listen to more, but I want to talk to you because you're here, man. No, tell us, thank you so much. Tell us all about this piece, man. It is really cool. Um, let me get a little bit bigger there. Uh, what there's a lot going on in there, uh, technically speaking, right? Because obviously you wrote the song, and you you know you got you know you're performing it, you're dancing in there. <laughs> you probably got some green screen in there. Imagine, um, cut. You just walk us through the whole thing, man. Yeah. So pretty much um, how this came about. So this was actually the muse that was for my Gen Art piece, like later. Okay. Um, but. Um, how this piece came about was I remember talking about just having a conversation, I, I think. And um, and I, I just remember like it was regarding hair and stuff. And and then I just remember like talking, like seeing your traders, um, her, her, her collection of strong hair. Yeah. And on foundation. And I remember saying, wow, I'm so thankful that she put this out here because hair she was talking about um you know hair black hair african hair and in a place of beauty and it wasn't coming from a place of like oh struggle or anything. it was like oh i'm strong i this is me accept me this is my beauty and i just remember saying that and i was like oh yeah you know because i think a lot of times with me when it comes to like you know some identity uh, you know, um, I, I sometimes fall into these traps and, and seeing, seeing things like that, it, you know, it helps you. And, and so when it came to doing this piece, 
I was like, I really want to tap into that. Um, and, 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 and so the narrative here was, was strength, um, strength and, and, and being strong and, and, or, or having that foundation. And so, um, going off foundation, um, as you see here, I was like, okay, what is strong and what needs to have, you know, a foundation. And I was like, trees. Hmm. And, and, and so when it came to, um, this piece, I, I remember I saw something. <laughs> so I also have a, a bandmate who is also my creative partner, who is also like pretty much my business partner. He's all those things. Uh, he wasn't able to come on the call today. Um, but, um, and, and so I was like, you know, I, I tend to bounce these ideas to him and I love him because um, it's, it's, I mean, I, I love him so much because <laughs> he is very more realistic than I am. Like, I, I think I'm, pretty realistic, but he's more like realistic. Like, I don't think we can do that. I don't think we can do that. But you wouldn't even see, you wouldn't even think <laughs> that I love him because when we're talking about these things, I'm like, no, you just don't believe. <laughs> you just don't believe we can do this. You just, you're lazy, whatever. And I was just like, no, I'm like, I think we can't. And so. <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't say that, then you're not going to push yourself. Like it's right. Like, you're yeah, like, yeah. And, and, and I, I think it's also, awesome. like, but I think it's necessary. Right? I think as honest, you have this big idea and sometimes you got to like take things out to like to just get to something that makes more it's more feasible or whatever. Like, you know, I think a lot of times as artists, you have probably start from, you know, at A isn't the same way where it gets to with Z. Like the execution is not the same as what the idea was gonna be. But the execution is something like, okay, this is what it's supposed to be. Um, so in regards to getting like to this piece though, like um I on the technical aspect, I was like, okay, in order for me to be able to talk about like the strongness and, and, and in regards to the song, the song is pretty much talking about, you know, how do you weather the storm? You know, there's a storm coming about. Uh, do we have the strength to be able to get through it? And the tree is there to really kind of showcase, like, this is the foundation. Are you, uh, do we have that? Um, and, and so, um, and the ball is there to like symbolize this is, you know, what in this. Um, and, and, and so on again to the technical part, um, you guys ask me questions too. Y'all can ask me questions as well because I'm not going to talk. <laughs> no, it's all good. I mean, so okay, so we got the foundations, we got the story, we got the understanding, and and the the tie-in with your trade is amazing because anytime any artist can inspire another artist and then get called out for that inspiration is is huge too. And and her pieces or her series is amazing. Uh, Strong hair, which people should definitely yeah. check out. Yeah. Um, on the technical side of this, um, it's it, you know you got interesting choice to have you know uh the still image and then your eyes open up later uh you've got um green screen right is that what we're doing yeah. dancing so then... so believe it or not that wasn't green screen we were able to I'll like choose that. Up. what is it yeah. <laughs> so i'm that's actually a ball i'm in this ball you're actually in the ball i wasn't sure about that okay. yeah so yeah people think it's not a ball which sucks i think we didn't do a good job with like but no, I see it. it looks like a it's ball like, or a bubble it looks like it's a, like a well, zorb yeah, it moves if you see it, it moving like and yeah, it's yeah. Moving, yeah but it's actually and it, i get kind of upset i'm kind of upset with that and you know it is what it is at the end of the day it's still cool to see but i read I it as that ball. yeah i just yeah. couldn't tell if you added it separately as an element or if you were actually yeah. in the ball yeah yeah no no yes yeah. that's what i'm saying like but i literally was in a ball that had no air circulation. Oh. So, <laughs> I had, yeah, like this whole time I'm dancing, this whole song, oh. I'm dancing in it, not barely breathing, like no air. And just like, <laughs> you're like, how can I suffer for my art? <laughs> and no, one, no one knows. <laughs> but I'm literally in this, like, this, this ball that has barely no air. I was like, because we, that's what happened. So we, I was like, okay, because it's chat ball. So people don't really know, but like, I'm literally in this ball and, and um, we had to blow it up with air, but then we had to like um, zip it and I couldn't breathe. So I'm like pretty much, you know, it's really hard <laughs> breathing there. So I was just like, okay. So this whole time I'm barely, <laughs> barely breathing oh and we God. had to do it one shot. So it's me doing this and, you know, um, barely uh, being able to, to breathe. Um, but yeah, we we're able to do that. And then um, it was a white wall that was behind it. So, so just, a silhouette, um, just making a silhouette of yourself exactly and that exactly. was kind of how okay that, that came about so yeah there was no actual green screen for this one all right um, that's awesome yeah 
you know, it was, overall it was, it definitely was um, an experience um, that I probably won't do again. Who knows? But you, you, you find yourself uh, oftentimes collaborating in live action sets or, or studio setups, like, uh, like what you did with your puppet, which, yeah. you know, if people don't know, um, I'll, I'll see if I can bring that up. In a minute I have here. so yeah. much mediums. And when it comes to like, Oh, what do you want to show? I'm like, <laughs> well, I, I think the puppet was my first exposure to your work. That, that was my like your too, early yeah. foundation, I, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, Let's see if I can grab that. And here. I feel like um, I haven't done anything with the puppet in such a long time, like in the space that people just like, are you forgetting about Ed B the puppet? And I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm just we're, we're working on something kind of. No, you, you've been working on, uh, you, you used... Um, an NFT, uh, run and run, and be the puppet to to basically like help fund a, a pilot, right? Yeah, for, exactly. for an animated that's pilot. Which we, that's literally what we're doing now. Um, yeah, we are pushing that, and you know, the industry is totally different from what it was when we made this. You know, did this race. Um, <laughs> uh, um, but you know, we're still pushing. But yeah, we we were able to like we've completed it, and 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 so I'm just trying to like create the environment where it makes sense and people can see Ed B and honestly the world of it. Um, there's another puppet in there um, that's Ed B's friend. Um, and, 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 and yeah, like I, I definitely want people to see that, but yeah, that's that, that is the first introduction to me um, to people. I think when they see me, it's, it was Ed B the puppet and also to the space. Um, and, and for me, you know, that was, that's still like, that's my heart. Ed B the puppet. Um, but I also didn't want to like, I feel like as artists too, especially me, you know, we, we can sometimes find ourselves like boxed. Um, and I, I didn't want people to box me because I kind of thought that I was seeing that a bit. I'm just like, oh, Ed, yeah, you know, Ed's the puppet guy. Right. And, but and now, which is what I guess you can see growth because yeah. how I was in 2021 to like where it is now, you probably wouldn't have known like, oh, shoot. Ed is doing all these mediums or wants to be in all these mediums. Um, but for me, I've always been someone who's like open to all things, right? I think even like just being in a space, it's like you're open to these things. It's a new thing. And so that's, um, I, I think I'm just appreciative of just people going on a journey with me. Like that's, you know, yeah. that's kind of, it's kind of a big thing. I think it's also brave to, as an artist, um, not, uh, to to recognize that you feel like you're being boxed in by something that you created and and not and to take to be brave and take that step outside and say well I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do you know and and I hope you guys are gonna join me for that journey instead of being so fearful that you stay and stay yeah I feel like you guys stagnant. do a really good job with that too like I feel like you you all are really good at um and I think I I really like I pay attention to artists like you all because you guys are really good at um creating things differently but still having this oh it's me thing effect and i love that i'm just like yeah like that's still adam that's still brian like you can't sure it's new it's different but you can't do that like you can't you know what i'm saying and that's like, yeah I think that's Thank the you. most important thing i appreciate that because yeah, it's hard to, yeah don't always feel that way too and it's um feeling it more and more when people say it um but it is it's it's like it's I I would feel very bored, right? If I was only doing the same thing over it's and over. It's boring as hell. Right? Even <laughs> if it was successful, at some point, people are also, people are going to get get bored. Like I've seen some artists in this space do really, really well with a very tight style that's really cool. But after about a year and a half of that same tight style and then kind of like just making another version of that, collectors kind of move on people kind of move on the heat goes away because people are like right we've seen that already we know yeah, and i think sometimes a lot of artists know like you're an artist you kind of you I, you just have to you have to have a conversation with yourself with your work mm. right there is those conversations just like why am i doing this what am i getting out of it and if you're not getting anything out of it yeah you might have to do something and i but i understand there's there's this risk of just like oh collectors and whatever but that's where as being the artist you really have to make those choices because yeah your work you know well yeah i, like I think m most of us can feel it instinctively when we're bored of our own of bored of our own process you know mm -hmm. and you're like okay well i'm i don't i feel like i'm repeating myself i got to think get get inspired again cuz yeah in the end it's like you know 
we, we all have this opportunity to be creative. And if like you're not enjoying the process or not coming away from it, feeling like uh, you're growing, then it's just not it's not very fun. But I want to get back into your process, dude. I know. Uh, <laughs> probably the so, worst so, I so let's say <laughs> I mean, I, I imagine how this goes. Theme, song, choreography, visual representation. Is that right? Or is all of that conceived at the point of the theme? <laughs> oh. Should we get some coffee? Do we? <laughs> First of all, it sucks because it's always different. Okay. Um, I wish it was set up like that. <laughs> um, I would say what is first is music. Music yeah. is, does come first. But, um, and, and when it comes to the visual, um, so when it comes to my song, my music too, like I can have a narrative in a song, but what I love to do in my music, like um, specifically is to kind of, you know, if it's, if it's like, for instance, if it's like a sad song or a song that's really kind of more like, you know, dark, I want it to, the, the beat to be light. I like to be contradictory in that way because I feel like as humans, we, <laughs> you know, we can be smiling, but we're probably really depressed or going through it, right? And I think that's my way of like showing those things. With that being said, I sometimes also want to put that in my work. And, 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 and so when it comes to like this, this is actually kind of a really dark song. Because it's just like, I don't think we're going to make it. Like, we've been through all this shit, and I just don't think we're going to make it. But And this foundation, is like, are we really going to, is that is that possible? Um, but then I always do feel like, as humans, there is this touch of hope. Um, and, and that's where, you know, I, I kind of always want to put that touch of hope in, in certain things. Um, so so it, it is song, then visual. And... Because I have ADHD, <laughs> um, like instance with this piece with the core, like the the steps, um, I didn't know that I wasn't going to be able to breathe. So I had a whole, a whole different, I had a whole different, like you know, st- uh, uh, line of steps for this, like piece, like um, for this piece, I yeah. had different steps for it, and I had to change it at a drop of a of a dime, and so. This is freestyled. People don't know that. Okay. But I literally that... freestyled this whole thing. <laughs> so normally your your choreography is pre-planned. When you do your concerts, Which you have amazing. those steps figured out and lined up every time. You're not just feeling it. But in this moment, you were just kind of feeling it as you In my performances, I am I have steps that are yeah, I have my pieces, but I also am feeling it. So sometimes I will break away. Cool. Um so yeah, it, it is that I, I think for me, and I think that's kind of where it goes to um, my, my work. A lot of times, um, which is why, and it, it, it goes to the point of why I hate boxes, is because if I stuck to the rules all the time, then I am stifling, you know, the execution. I'm not allowing the whole thing to come out. So like even here, like I couldn't do my steps in this ball. Like the, it just wasn't going to be possible. So right. what do you do? Do you just not do it anymore? Or do you find another way to do it? Literally, yeah. I was like, okay, figure it out. And so I had to figure it out. And and I had like five seconds. And I said, let's, I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like five minutes. Like, okay. Dun, 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 and then going going into there. Um, and and really like um, taking in, okay, story um, and, 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 and no air circulation. <laughs> and, and, and getting it and, and getting this. Um, and, and narrative, um, um, I, I also feel like when it comes to like the narrative for the piece, which sometimes can be, um, it's usually, it's usually narrative, narrative of the song, finding the song to then connect to the narrative of the piece. Um, but I think sometimes people will assume that the song is always straightforward to the piece, and I and I, and I want people like when I when I make pieces like that, my goal is also to have people not be too not to be on the nose. I want it to be very like, not too little. I'm not a little person. I, I'm, I'm an artist. I like to th- see things like, oh shoot, this is like, you know, and, yeah. and, I, and I want people to be able to do that. And, and, and so, um, yeah, the song is about that, but how'd you get to this? And, and yeah, like, I, I feel like with, with music, 
you can have different interpretations, just like as you can have different interpretations of like visuals. So, yeah. But, but yeah, it it that is kind of how it it, it flows. Yeah, for the awesome. for the most part. But yes, you have yeah. the things of just like changing it up because we're artists at the end of the day, and sometimes it's like, mm, you know, I, I think I got to change it for this for this piece. I also yeah, just so, wanna, yeah. I want to showcase some uh, as we're we're talking in the background. I just want to showcase um, choreography, just brilliant choreography <laughs> that you shared recently. And yeah. and for anyone who's not seen you perform live, it's a damn treat. Like we. Oh, I, thanks. It was uh, I don't know NFT NYC two years ago, right? And I think that was the best NFT NYC. In it was game. incredible, and it was um, it was it was at the um, what 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 show is that? Uh, it was um NFT NFTC NFTC. And yeah. Your, your oh yes, yes, was in the theater. Just, yeah, yeah that was like when we all came together. So thanks yeah. so much for y'all for y'all coming through. It was um, great. It was great. But this is just like watching this is just like. It's magic. <laughs> just, I get so weird seeing myself perform sometimes. I'm like, I don't know if I did that. If I hit that, if I did that step that well. Mm, I yeah, don't know. I mean, that's it. every artist is looking at themselves, but we don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm looking at it, it like, yeah. it's that's good. I have I to like kind of get out of my head. Like sometimes I'm just like, I don't yeah. know if I should post this because I don't think I hit that hit that way. But yeah. it, it's all much better game. than I could ever do. So <laughs> yeah, I'm that's I'm not judging it at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think. I, I think about your work, as, you know, it's kind of like jazz or something where there's structure and improvisation and you're kind of bouncing around and you're changing it up all the time. That is an awesome analogy. So do you do poetry? Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, I would I would agree. I Because I, I see stuff, it Brian. as that way, too. I don't like I just don't I think jazz doesn't really uh, it's weird. Like it doesn't like to follow the rules. I think that's how it how it came about. And. And I am someone I was always against the rules. I'm a rebellious soul. Literally, I think now I'm fine with saying it. Before I was like, no, I'm okay. Like, you know, y'all just don't listen. But no, I really don't like to be forced to do something um, <laughs> that doesn't, like I want, I'm, I'm like, no, it needs to be this way or whatever. Like I, you say it needs to be this way, but I think it should be th that way. And, yeah. and I think that's how I, I, I really approach my art. Like even when I did that gen art, gen art piece, which is what's here, People were like, ah, I don't know if you should do this and stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm going to do it <laughs> because <laughs> I think there needs to be more narrative and generative art. And I think I have a narrative that needs to be there. So I'm going to do it. And uh, yeah, people were surprised. And I said, yeah. And and I think for me, too, um, what I also have to understand, and I'm sure you guys um, can also agree with, is knowing that... Um, when you do work, um, sometimes people aren't ready for that work. Like, you know, and you have to be okay with that. It's not that it's bad, not good. Um, and it's just that sometimes people just aren't ready for that. Um, yeah. And that needs to be something that, which is like a, a sad or a painful truth, but it needs to be, you have to be okay with that. Um, which is something I also, because when I did this piece, I'm, I'm starting to get way more love now than when I actually dropped it. And I think sometimes it takes a while. It takes a while yeah. to understand the purpose. It, and, and, you know, you have to be okay with that. Yeah, it's that idea of we are so early. Um, yeah. Which we, we say a lot, <laughs> but we don't internalize it enough. I mean, I'm, there's a lot of artists that I've told over the years, like, what you're doing is awesome and valid, but the community and collector base just isn't the right audience for it yeah. yet. Yeah, and I think, yeah, and it's like, and I've had conversations with people to where it's just like, yeah, sometimes... Um, we put a lot of art um, collectors and, uh, you know, it, <laughs> shout out to my collectors out here. Um, but also not everyone understands, right? And there, there is a vocabulary, there is a, a learning aspect of just like why this is important or like, and things like that and, and a, a development, you know, that needs to happen. And, and, and so, and so I think that's our duty as well as artists is, okay, I haven't seen this before. Why should I like this? And building up those conversations and things like that, that can help um, guide, you know, people into uh, understanding um, art and uh, the depth of it and, and why, um, you know, why it's, it's, it's created and things like that. Um, and, and so, yeah, like that's, uh, that's a absolutely correct thing to say to those people. Um, it's something I had to learn, you know, and I was like, okay, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, yeah. It, it makes well, you stronger. Yeah. I would say it, it's it's about you know 
a lot of people in the space want relatable content. And with like Yatreda and this, uh, this is exposure to a culture that we're not gr raised in. And so yeah. it's, it's, it requires us to learn more than just looking at the art as well. Um, yeah. And I think that, that's, that's, why a, that's I love a, her so much. Yeah. Because she's like, I'm going to do it. This is like, it's very authentic. It's very like, yes. Okay. Yeah. It's like, you know, this is, <laughs> this is literally, this is me. And, you know, and, 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 and so, uh, and that's something that I I I I want to do, and what I do is like this is this is me, um, and and hopefully maybe you didn't understand me a year ago, but now you kind of understand this, yeah. Thing, or yeah, you're starting to, you know, something is like make you even have a conversation, right? And and if 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 my work isn't something, maybe it, it's forcing you down this medium of like, oh, let me see other people and stuff like that. And so like you know, I think that is. Um, that is the goal, like, because at the end of the day, we're like, that's we're all coming from different places, like, pushing pushing our own narratives that are necessary for people to understand and 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 you know, also like be a part of. So, yeah, yeah, I I think you touched on it earlier, which was creating this bigger understanding of what we do across all these things, um, and you know, the more people learn about you, the more all of these pieces fit together in this bigger picture that you're painting. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's why I'm so big on narrative, because I I just feel like I my story is even though the work um, can tell a story by itself, I just think I need to also tell the story. Um, I mean, we're all, like I, you know, I think it's necessary. We're all building, the, at least for right now, of anything, you know. <laughs> right. It's it's. I mean, it's it's the idea of building out a larger narrative over time. It's the idea that you're not here for a minute just to make a buck. It's the you know, it's it's the bigger the bigger picture. I know that whole. Are you here? Are you here for the long term? That better go in the motherfucking trash. I've been here for quite some time now. <laughs> I don't want to hear anyone questioning me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. But you know what? Uh, there are people who are new or newer or who have not had as much exposure. How's that for a segue, Brian? I'm trying. I'm working on better. it. You're getting better. You're nailing it. Did I stick to landing, or did I mess it up by talking about the fact that it was a segue? Um, but uh, I'm off with it. I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking this is uh, you know kind of we're kind of hitting that halfway mark where uh, you know, we have the opportunity to try to uplift some other people, some other artists, um, do a little bit of show and tell. Uh, but this has been really great. I feel like the reality of this is. We could probably do this for another one to two hours with just you. <laughs> like I could easily just like I just maybe we'll do a repeat awesome homies, so we just like talking to each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just fun, man. Like this is great. Um, and we and we all talk about like all sorts of stuff, but we we get together, but we don't always talk about like anyone's deep dive in their own process, right? Like it's you know it's more friends. I know, I know. This is like man. you got to be better. Special. This is special, man. <laughs> We're all shy. <laughs> We are. It's true. I mean, nobody, you know, nobody we, wants to talk about their work when we're hanging I mean, out. No, we funnel it into our work. Honestly, That's thank the whole you for the platform. Thank you for doing this because I think I know y'all in chats with me, and I've said it too many times. And y'all like, shut up, Ed. Just do it, and you guys are the solution. So um, you are know, like talking about work, you're, like having artists talk about their work and what's in the narrative and stuff like that. So I appreciate this platform, and I appreciate you guys doing that and really being about action. Well. We're, we're happy. We're happy to do it, man. Thank I'm you. I'm excited for Ed Balloon Radio Hour. When's that coming? <laughs> yes. It's supposed to be coming. It's it's going to happen. It's going to happen real soon. <laughs> awesome. All right, gentlemen, let's do a little uh, show and tell, shall we? Yeah. Here we go. All right, so here we go. This is... Did, Ed, did you know that Adam wrote that song? I used the word wrote very loosely. Did you um, use AI? No, but I used oh. uh, Apple and okay. a, a keyboard. That's dope. First of all, these are all cool. This is so <laughs> cool. Like, I poked around on a keyboard, is, my man. <laughs> like I'm, I'm Brian's out here saying your radio show, and I'm like, I'm like scared. I don't think I could do this. this is like really <laughs> awesome. Like this is this is really produced really well. Like thank you, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. We we try. Uh, this is the first time we're doing we're doing uh, music, and so trying to do it justice by actually being able to play the music. I am filtering right now through the links in the hopes that I find the three pieces that you've shared. Well, I know that I found this one, so we'll start with this one because I found it. 
All right. Uh, so we're going to go. This is part of the show, show and tell. We try to uplift people we either collected from or just think are dope and we want to give more exposure. Some people have a lot of exposure, but you know what? It's always good to help a friend if you think like, you know, they're really dope. Uh, so here we go. Uh, first up is a piece that Ed picked out. Uh, see if this works. Ba -ba 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 -bum. This piece called message so we're gonna take a snippet from here let me know give me a thumbs up if uh if you can hear it Protect when you follow He was focused on the bag he was eating I ain't even get to check on my woes We were searching for the code for a reason I ain't here for the brag and the bows I just hope my niggas glow, yeah, they gleam, man You ain't gotta ask twice for the bow Hoping you know, we'll never win the tie change New day, new face, new walk away New sway, new slay in the very very dope man um and just so everyone knows we're gonna have uh if you follow our first show on twitter linked up at the end of this is the in the episode we're gonna have all the links to all the art that we talk about ed's piece and everything else uh so you'll be able to go back and look at it and listen to these things on your own time um <clears throat> but yeah this piece uh tell us about this piece why you chose it what you think uh what, what you're thinking yeah so this is called the poet and i just feel like she's an incredible like a really good artist um uh this this song um I, when she when she makes music so I, you know as you guys know i'm I, I touch all the mediums but i'm a musician first and i think in web3 um or in the space you know it's very difficult for musicians to like push our work um you know um and and so i am here to uplift musicians as well um and i just feel like there are just some good musicians where you're just like, oh, this you definitely deserve like people to be listen be listening to to you, and um, when it comes to her work, uh, it's really in her her pen, like uh, like her words are like really there, like even message, and I, I, and I'm sure she's aware, and as we all are aware that um, uh, she really cares a lot about like talking about things that as I've, that really matter. And in this piece here, or, or in this song here, it's, I think it's more about like reflection and change and being ready. Um, and, and that's the message. And and so when it came to like the art, so I thought the art was incredible as well. Just like, you know, uh, I think for me, it, like of the head of just being all in your head and how we can sometimes like, you know, trying mm -hmm. to find it um, in pieces and trying to put it together. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, that's, I, that was why I decided to use this piece. Uh, it, it, it also was a part of the optimism um uh grant the, the contest uh, oh the yeah, grant contest, which you won congratulations I, um, thanks and, and <laughs> you both won <laughs> yeah yes. yes you did um, but i wanted to <laughs> call out adam um uh but yeah and and it also won in that as well which i was really happy about um but yeah, i just wanted to give some light to that that's great. That's an awesome piece. Uh, the animation really elevates it because it really kind of matches that kind of floating feeling yeah. of the music too. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I and I didn't it, I I'm, I didn't know she was an animator too. So I think she did this too, um, which yeah. is also incredible. It's not easy. Perspective no. on feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't, that's don't, great. Yeah, don't come to me if you want realistic hands, feet, or or. <laughs> Or, or beautiful women. I'm just not good at drawing. Like I heard, I heard it's one of the hardest things to do. Um, making feet and hands. Yeah, I leave it to other people. Good choice, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's Thank awesome. You. Really cool. I'm gonna pull this off there, and then because it's oop, uh oh, did I get rid of it? Yeah. Okay. Good. It's <sighs> it's all new today. I'll either hit one button, we'll all disappear, or you know, we'll get the next one up. Um, I'm all right, being a challenge. I'm, I'm no. get it. I'm it's vegan. not if it's either I'm vegan, which is complicated. <laughs> I can never be. <laughs> I had to, I had to learn how to have audio in our show at some point, man. So, thank you for pushing me to to figure <laughs> that out. It's just a convoluted way is the problem that it, you know. It's not just I had to be the one. This. I had to be the one to do it to you, Adam. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. All right, here we go. We're gonna win this one. Next one is. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Brian, this is one of yours. A share, a very oh cool yeah, share. oh yeah. So this one, this one's relevant because um, this is part of um, this month. I'm curating Click Create. Uh, I which saw is, that. Oh, Congratulations, Brian. Yes, very Thanks. Cool, man. Uh, and so this is um, release number two of uh, last week was Ao Crego, which was great. 
Um, and this week is Ezra Ezlan. And I, I just adore this piece. You know, um, there's so much fun, goofy stuff going on if you zoom in. Oh, we're it's, going. It's, it's, it's literally a Where's Waldo? Waldo is in there somewhere. Right yeah. Here, buddy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, see if you can. Yeah, see if you can zoom in. Uh, but I just, you know, I'm, oh, I'm such a fan it. of. Uh, mm -hmm. I shared the Chrome tab. I'm learning. I zoomed in the way I normally do, so I'm looking at it zoomed in. And oh uh, yeah, not. yeah, cool. No, we're just seeing it. But um, okay. yeah, and so um, next week will be um the third artist, which is uh Louis Daisy, who I've shown uh, on here in the past as well. And uh, people that collect all three of those will get a free edition from me, which is a fun way of uh, putting out art that forces people to support other artists. Um, that yeah. is very, very cool, man. And I just love all, I mean, she draws these and they're just filled with crazy little stories wow. going on. Look at that. Look at that. But that's what I'm talking about. You know, like. <sighs> Brutal. <laughs> so I, good. Y'all already saw what I was talking about, but that's what I'm talking about. Right? Like it's, the piece is so quote unquote correct me if i'm wrong or lack of a better term but like it's light like you see this and it's light it, it's supposed to be a light but there's like dark things happening and yeah there's someone you know, lets you know that this is this is actually still our reality and and i love it i and i man i, I saw it, i think this piece. came uh, came across uh, my timeline but i wasn't able to really dive into it um <laughs> there's a foot on the street uh, LA. Look at that. Is that a, was uh, that a Pepe? There, there is a Pepe somewhere. I think he. Yeah, there is. That the Wal is that is that the Where's Waldo? Do we find it? The Pepe. Waldo's tied up. Waldo's, yeah, Waldo's, Waldo's being Waldo's tortured by here. witches right here. <laughs> but this hair forces you to interact, and I love that as yeah. well. Like it yeah. forces you to like interact. Nah. Her work is insane. Like uh, you know when. I love all three of my artists, but when I was asked to curate the month, she was first on my list. Cause like, again, it's just an artist that as soon as you see her work, you know who it is and yeah. you, you get lost in it. Um, so yeah. And I'm, you know, it sold out, did great and got Amazing. great reception. So shout out to everybody that, that minted that and shout out to click create um, just uh, over the moon with uh, the response. I mean, before this, we were talking about like, Oh, what's the market like right now? There's still a lot of positives going on. I mean, this sold 125 editions. Today was a Velocity Pass made like one and a half million dollars selling an art pass. So there's still the there's art no, market's still, still churning. Um, yeah, and so I'm optimistic. Good stuff, man. Good choice. It's great. It's good stuff. Not it's fine. good stuff. All right, I'm gonna see about stuff this thing. Oh, oh, I almost got rid of Brian that time. Yeah, that would do you. Let's see this that way. Here we go. All right. That's the music that I play when I'm trying to find other pieces to share with you guys. It's your turn. I know. Here we go. Got one. Let's see. But I'm jumping between the way you got to share them. All right. This is noise number 12. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little but Pat and Pat Dimitri. Mm -hmm. And then look at this thing. This is just gorgeous. He put this out last year. And this one lets me control the volume so we can talk. Um, he put out uh, a whole bunch of pieces that look just like this. They're all uh, little riffs that he did that are uh, fantastic that he paired with 3D that he spent forever and ever working on because he's a musician first, but the man figured out how to make this also. And I'm incredibly impressed. Uh, Pat, I've uh, I didn't get a, one of these. Uh, I have uh, another one of Pat's pieces, uh, but this series uh, was just gorgeous and fun to watch. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's a it's a whole bunch of really colorful uh, yeah. visualizations that I got lost in. And I think you should have shown mine. Jeez, jeez, Louise. <laughs> I got this one or another piece. Of you should have just yeah. assumed that I assume that Brian has one of every NFT minted. <laughs> I know Ryan is like the, the best collector <laughs> in the space. Um, well, Pat, Pat's one of those guys who's just been like, he's been around forever, grinding, making awesome stuff. And I feel like he doesn't get enough attention. And so, yeah. Yeah, Try Pat it. is, you know, Pat's my homie. We are the musicians. And like, all the, like, in most of my spaces that I'm in, it's always me and Pat. And, and so, like, I think for me, um, I, I, this is a huge, incre like, incredible, an incredible amount of respect that I have for him um for coming into the space and like learning a new 
I want to like you know learning a new craft yeah um, to then also like yeah. help augment his other craft right and it takes and i think sometimes two people you know and of course uh you're not gonna notice if you're not willing to talk to him or have like hear the story um but you know he didn't have you know before COVID and things like that he didn't know how to do this and so like for him to like right. learn and perfect it to where it's um it makes sense and you you also you're like you're you're intrigued by it and and then it also is something that um just flows with the music um i i man hats off to him yeah yep 100 percent. yep as a musician you don't need to make visual art to to sell music but in this space it it absolutely helps because it gives a people something to be grounded with and also yeah. You know, if you had this on a TV, you could be playing this in the background. It could I be just little, say you know, it, like music just, videos. Yeah, is what I I saw Web three when I was like, oh, music videos. Because I like I, I always love doing music video. I, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so something like yeah, the song should only be the song. It should be the music video as well. You know, but yeah, not everyone has that. You know, or thinks that way, and they don't have to. It's just, but that that is something that you know that was where I was coming from when it came to like you know creating, or when it comes to creating yeah and, and they don't have to but again it's just it it makes a lot of sense for for the audience um all right i got one here from ed as we keep moving through let's share this one here again this is going to be an all or nothing audio experience here we go i uh, i i think this is chore cool choreography like this is just haunting and beautiful and it's so cool I'd never seen this piece before. That's why I look at that. <laughs> cool. I was watching this in a loop last night. Yeah, yeah. so like um Nico uh Nicholas is um an incredible, incredible um performer. Uh movement. He brings contemporary movement into into web three and i really feel like this is this medium is so underlooked um or overlooked no no one's paying attention to it and um this is a huge part of performance art um this hair uh and and and, and so i someone who also is into movement and um ha, you know I, I used to do movement um when i see things like this i'm just like oh my gosh you know i'm like I really stop and I, I I I analyze and I'm just like I'm just like man um so I'm so stuck on like how you can how you're able to like tell the stories through through movement and and I can see this you know I see it in here and 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 so that was why I wanted to like showcase this um I wanted to like really give him you know a platform you know as much as I could um to talk about his work um I think um as we said like you know sometimes you do things that it's it's really good but if currently right now it, you know it maybe the audience isn't fully there or they don't understand and 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 so like i would say him and there's, there's um, a good amount of others as well um but who are pioneering um who are willing to still push this this narrative of movement at the forefront um even though they don't really have much of that you know that foundation or that base be, to back them they still do it and and so um i i i really really champion that and, and really respect that for them for them for them for people like him to continue want to do that and because it it's a it's a lot yeah. uh even yeah. being able to choreograph again dances together and move it's so it's it's the hardest thing um so i really i'm i'm really yeah just yeah it's so dope look at this, this it's, so awesome. good. it's so also, good it's also movement aside the composition and shot is beautiful yeah. like, look at this oh man he's so good <laughs> it's, it's also just really smart to not move the camera right like have yeah. <laughs> the camera you know that would just be such a distraction to take away from the beauty of of what we're watching here Oof. so i was thinking when it would cut to black that it was restarting but these are all different like different segments huh yeah that are like separated by these like kind of cuts that's really interesting this is like a short film exactly yeah so good um wow yeah i'm gonna great great recommendation yeah we'll make sure everybody go take a look after after the show um all right let's see here moving up and on 
do 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 I need to get some music for this part of the show. Um, okay. It's like Here the Jeopardy. Uh, doom, yes, doom. while they're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Like, we, it went blank for a bit. I was like, something. something. No. What? It's, no, we're good. No, we're, yeah, we're good. A- Adam right. lost his uh, share screen, though. Oh. I did that on purpose. I have to oh, do that shit. for every single time that I want to do a music one. It's okay. Uh, That's just the fun of this. We're learning. That's okay. how it works in this way. All right, here we go. Next one up is uh, is one of mine. Uh, I'm sharing this one out. This is from Latasha. Oh, nice. This, oh. Is Pla- this is Platter. This is number 122 is the one I own. But let's see if it plays. See if you guys can. I think I like it. this song a lot. Is this the one? Yeah. So music is built into the NFT? It is. I, it don't, I, don't, I don't see a play bar. Yeah, it's definitely supposed to be there. That's awesome. Yeah, isn't it? It is awesome. <laughs> if we cool. heard it, no. If we I love <laughs> Latasha. Her work, her she she is very much like Ed and that exploring all the different ways of combining visuals and NFTs. Yeah, and I would music. say like she yeah, I, I agree with you. She's someone um who also was one of the first people that I saw really making sure that she put music at the forefront of anything that she was doing. Um, but also letting you, like, you know, letting artists know, especially musicians, like, you know, you can approach it a different way. It doesn't have to be, you know, very linear. You can do whatever. And that was where, you know, allowed me to open this to, like, you know, go ahead and say, yeah, let me try this and try that. So, so yeah, I do appreciate it. Latasha. That's awesome. I wonder yeah, who made that, was, that art. That was so it almost looks, like, almost looks like Andre O'Shea's work or something. Possibly, you know, he they've done a lot of collabs together. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, um, it's definitely that's a, great, a whole great cover. Um, that. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Sorry about that, which I have no idea, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I like this song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roly poly, is this the one? He's running on my tippy toes. Uh, Platter. But fuck that, not no more, bruh. I got a bigger appetite now. A bitch gonna have to bite it down. Go tell the whole nation. I'm coming for my reparations. We changing what's on your station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roly poly. Yeah, that's it. Show me, show me who the fuck is doing better. I've been doing me and laughing at your boys measure. Dollars while I think you're watching do the shit for us. Cry you with the wire while these niggas chatter, chatter. If I speak, you best believe I'm getting shattered. So, yeah. So, so good. <laughs> if, if anybody hasn't caught a Latasha live show, uh, I highly recommend it. She's also so really fun. Good she is really good. Very live. good. Yeah. Hey, she's so good and so clear on that microphone. I want to <laughs> very clear, like you can hear everything, every <laughs> word, everything <laughs> on the microphone. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Let's yeah. see if I can find a piece. Let me see. What From me? I'm looking. I'm looking. Um, yeah. See. I feel like, you go. know, especially yeah. early in 2020, Zora and Latasha were doing so much uh, cool stuff for the space. And it's cool to see Zora kind of have yeah. a real second second wind recently too like yeah of the platforms it's really like kind of heated up and positioned itself really well zora yeah. 2020 is not the zora 2024 it's no. like yeah. a whole, it's a whole different thing whole different yeah. thing. you're like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, brian, this one is uh this is one of yours brian yes um, which is a fascinating project <laughs> yes. So, it's, you know, this week uh, we saw a project, or I guess last week, Sense, which was someone that cataloged their pennies, um, 10,000 of them. Uh, this artist has been doing a similar thing in the space for a while. Uh, first, they did everything that was in their house or their apartment as a catalog NFT collection. And this one, uh, they took every uh, star drop as the artist, but they took every file that they had on their messy desktop and cataloged them. Uh, as NFTs. And so the one I shared is a funny, you know, it's still minting. You don't know what you'll get. 
Um, but it's all over the place in terms of what it is, but it's, I think it's a thousand random files from the desktop, but this one, if you zoom into what it says, it says like worm band. Um, and the artist actually shared, it was like an idea that became a, pro, a, a, a an image of a band of worms. Um, but like, I just, <laughs> I uh, can't zoom in on the way I did it. I love, I love the, the silly concept behind this project. And, uh, also, they're, they're, I sent you their website. I don't know if you can pull it up, but they have just an insanely cool website that looks straight out of the early 90s. Uh, and so I really appreciate their uh, attention to detail. You might be able to, well, I don't know if you can get it from here directly, but um, you know, it's, in that, it's in that Discord. I could probably pull it up for you. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm a big fan of art. artist websites. They're something we don't see a lot of in this space. Um, and yeah, uh, so. They're coming back. They're coming back. Oh, I got um, it. I got it. I'll see if I can. Uh... Oh, the new way of doing things. I can't just change the input. Stop and present. Share screen. 15 clicks later. You have no idea how much is killing me. Actually, you probably have a pretty good idea of how much is killing me. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there it is. So, um, oh, wow. This is, It's. I mean, it's giving... It, it, <laughs> it's giving GeoCities this one. Yeah, but what I really amazing. appreciate so is good. if you look, if so look, cool. if you look yeah. in the middle, they ma they made Web One versions of OpenSea and Looks Rare icons, oh, look and I just I love that that amount of detail is so over the top and amazing to me. Look at that little little ship bouncing in like it would, like ridiculously. Wow! Look at the look at the detail. Go ahead. So good. Yeah, and got a Neopets ad at the bottom. Amazing. <laughs> so yeah, Amazing. yeah, I just thought I think that's just a a cool project that's still minting. It's I think it's very cheap. It's like point zero zero one or something to mint. But you know, it's just a, a really it's really fun. It's, it's, it's real. Um, Ryan knows everything. I saw someone retweet it, but they're also an artist that um, has done a drop on Ensemble, which uh, I'm a oh. fan of what they do. And so, um, yeah, I just, sometimes you, I stumble across projects. I'm just like, oh, that that's just too fun yeah, not to mint a few of. Like, oh man, this is on my <laughs> radar, but that's dope. Yeah, so good, man. I I, I love the vibe. I love the concept too. Just this yeah. is what's on my desktop. I mean, we all have messy desktops. We're all probably see it peeking out of the corner of this call right now. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's about to get real here. <laughs> all right, while I'm in this version of the sharing thing, I'm going to go to another one of Ed's uh, that does not have music but is really awesome. And it's an artist who has been um, shown on the show before. Uh, oh, really? But I didn't want to stop you because uh, I'm a big fan and why not? Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Tell, us, tell us all about. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like I, one, I wish I was. Did, you, did any of y'all go to his gallery at all? No, but I, 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 I had him send me all the images recently so I could look through them. They're incredible. Oh, really? Oh. I'm Dude. jealous. So, <laughs> so I didn't. <laughs> All right. Well, tell us, tell us who we're looking at, what we're looking at, why. Yeah. So this this was a piece that he um in the uh the this is I think it's called bear. Yeah. Said, it's, start with bear. bear. Sorry, bear. Shout out, shout out to bear. Um, here we go. I'm like, oh, yeah, everyone told Nelson. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if they don't, they should. That's what I'm saying. Everyone should know bear. Um, an incredible, incredible artist. Um, I think he's maybe that's why I put him up here because I'm like I think y'all should be a little bit more louder about this dude. Um, <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> waiting. I'm waiting till I collect a few first. <laughs> I think so too. I like, would like I, to I, like, also. because there's no reason that his art comes on my timeline and I talk to him. Like I I shouldn't have this much access to this dude. Like he's just so he's brilliant, and even how he puts the work out is even brilliant. Um, and when I saw this piece, I know he was like, it, 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 it for me, and I, I, I think one thing, like, I'm really close, I'm really cool with him. And I, I'm kind of upset because when he came out with this um, exhibition, I wasn't able to fully, we were on a space I had to leave, but I wasn't able to really get um, a full narrative of like some of these pieces and stuff. And so I can only go off like what was, what I connected with. And, 
And for me, I think it's still for this piece. It's like, it, it deals with the, the faces that you have to have um, in America, and 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 um, as at least for me, just being a black person, and just how do you how do you navigate, and how do you how do you do these things, and or fit this fit, fit these certain standards. Um, um, and and I know the descriptions of just like you know the the American family and stuff like that, and. And I'm like, where do you fit? At least for me, like, where do you fit in this? And I just feel like the faces of this is like, okay, maybe I can change it up here and I can change it up there. Um, but it's still me. So you're still, I'll still, I'll still come out. I won't be able to fully blend in. And that's kind of what I got from this piece. I could be totally wrong, but it is something do that, um, <laughs> it is something that um, it hit me immediately. Um, and his, his, his work is just from the color, from the palette, to um, the scruffiness around it, um, the rawness to it. And I think sometimes people can maybe say like, oh, I, I can see some similarities to Basquiat, but I just see similar, I, I, I just see a voice of his here. Like, I don't I don't know if it, it maybe it Basquiat because it was a, also intentional like rawness to it and that's why. But to me, I just see, I just see that, I see, an CBN authentic voice, voice right? right? That's like, like just, that's his own voice. Yeah, and I'm able to to know his work when I see it. Um, so so yeah, that's 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 I kind of wanted to talk about him. Um, and and really uh uplift him. I know he doesn't need much uplifting. I know a lot of people. I feel like the people that know him know. Like if you know, you know. Um, yeah, uh, but that's and, what we're doing. Like not but, everybody and, knows yet. And right? he's doing so, exhibitions. He's doing the things. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, but yeah. And he's when definitely you, playing two no different. Talent, you're like, yeah. yeah, he's playing both worlds really well because he's doing the traditional paintings and galleries, and he's doing the NFTs on Super yeah. Rare. Um, and yeah, I got to meet him last week at uh, the Super Rare event, and that was such a wonderful right. moment because we got to sit, and kind of stand <laughs> and talk with him for like uh, ten minutes, and basically just gush at how much I like, so cool. I like his work. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. So yeah, I was. Yeah, I was jealous I didn't go to the show because it was like right outside of Philly. Um, but yeah, no, his stuff's his stuff's awesome. I I I shared one of his pieces a few weeks ago that was like an addition. Um, but he's got a wide range of one of ones that are available. So you know, if people yeah. are looking to get in, I think now's 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 a good time probably. Yeah. Before yeah. before we have it shown on the show another twenty times because everyone <laughs> everyone loves his work. It's awesome. <laughs> it is. Every now and then we get an artist who just keeps like coming back and I'm glad though that his work was shown already. That yeah. makes me feel better. It, I don't know. I mean it just makes me feel like okay, all right. We also we all see it. We all see things. We're seeing things. We're yeah. like, okay, you know. Uh, yeah. Usually when there's an artist being shown multiple times on here, it's a real indicator that uh, there's something special going on there. Yeah. 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 An artist artist. Yeah, yep. that's what I'm saying. Like when the artist, I was like, you know, saying like, oh, y'all see that dude? I y'all see him over here? Like, he's, <laughs> yep. he's cooking. He's cooking. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we we see him. We know. <laughs> All right, we got uh, we got time. We got two more to go. Uh, one of yours, Brian's, and then we'll end with uh, with one of mine. Here we go. Uh, this is two pieces that you collected. And you can walk us through. Yeah, I went down a rabbit hole um, last Ooh. week uh, with this artist. Uh, they go by the name Don't Buy, which is a funny name. Um, but uh, they have, it turned, you know, I hadn't really seen their work. And then someone retweeted something. And then I went down this rabbit hole. And there's a few pieces on foundation. I collected two of them. This is one of them. Um, and then he has a wide range of Tezos pieces from years ago. And then he's recently started getting into that fellowship daily world. Um, but his pieces use AI mixed with kind of digital animation and Photoshop. Um, I kind of chatted with him a little bit about how he goes about it. He does it, he does it all in Photoshop, which is, um, that's what I'm talking about. But that's <laughs> probably the harder way to go about it, that's but it's crazy. It's, I, I love um, that. I love that. but wow. I think, you know, he, okay. he generates, he generates the like horses and guys, I think in AI, and then he brings it in and he instills it with all of this early 2000s, 90s. Um, kind of UI elements. So there's this piece that has like that blue screen of death and that Windows background. And then the other piece you'll see plays on the idea of pop-up windows. And, you know, you know me, I love error, uh, error pop-ups. <laughs> um, yep. And so I just, you know, I quickly went down a rabbit hole of like, oh man, I love this artist's work. And it just I, like I, hits, hits all the notes I love. I love it already. Um, yeah. Even off of like what you just said. Uh, of course, aesthetically, it's it's, um, it's definitely pleasing, um, but 
the fa- I I still find struggle with finding artists using AI and other you know other tools. Um, yeah, him being able to use AI as a, AI as a tool and with along with other things is huge for me because I'm like, yeah. okay, great, like you're adding something to it, and it's not but, you know, and that that to me is like that's really it's, it's that's like that's something i want to do like being able to like you know find ai to use to, um to, as a tool um solely with um in collaboration with with another tool um and so him being able to do that and and it, him finding a, a a a place to do that a space um to do that is really huge um so yeah shout out to him yeah I mean, uh, it kind of helps you find a voice right like instead of just allowing the ai to be the voice it allows you to have more control yeah, it, 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 more, more directing, you know, instead of yeah, just a, it, it a helps you see it. and hope what you get versus get your hands dirty. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, I, I'm, yeah. Especially Obviously, I, love it. I, I bought, I don't often go and just buy two one of ones by an artist, but I was like, this, yes. this is there something special going on here. Yeah. Um, I know. And I, yeah. I, I, Brian, you've been knowing. I'm just going to be, you know, we should be going to like, you know, just be known. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to, I can't copy your wallet because you would have got it already. And then it's like, <laughs> so I need to like, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 I post something. all this stuff publicly. I don't do like secret trading or anything. Um, but yeah, it's, he's just, always... saying, he's just saying he's a little jealous of like how dope you get. Like, oh yeah, I, know, you know, it's like... <laughs> well, I think it's more of just like, I need to make sure I can get these things. Before. You just know, I think there's people that just know dope talent before others do. Yeah. And <laughs> and I just I, I gotta be watching you a little bit more. I don't know what that means, just, but I just pay gotta, attention to Brian, man. Yeah, you just gotta be paying attention. Ooh, this oh, this thanks. this piece, I love this piece. I collected this uh what, two years ago, maybe I think so. Really? This is yeah, it's been a minute. Um ayahuasca ridden. Uh ayahuasca oh, Rio. by Rio. Oh. Uh, I have not seen this. Rio is just he doesn't need that much uplifting, but also he does because like more people need to know. He's just the one of the goofiest, talented people I've ever met. Rio, Rio, Rio from like making music, to making visuals, and you know to whatever make it physicals like he physicals and and program. He does everything, man. Fashion. The the, the dude is wildly talented and, and this is just as well you know i'm like look if we're bringing music out of the show finally and i'm gonna figure out how to play music i'm gonna play music i got that i love so um and he and exactly he was, and i'm he's so really, glad that we are on here and thank um, you because rio is incredible like i i love rio's music i yeah. i think i love everything that rio does which and, is like right like, I, I mean, be like oh yeah like someone has i literally do because he's just this I don't know like this is some people that like are just and he because he does it all like he, he does, does it, it all man like, like he came in with 3D and the, and and you know the the ugly series yeah those um, are great and yeah. they're just too bad but like and he's just he was a producer you know what I'm saying like producer yes. music <laughs> dude been... 3D did that learned yeah. um AI did that and he like, did that learned... ahead of everybody yes and he's he's like those, and that's oh, what I'm saying like I'm just yeah. like gosh. There are so many talented people here. I'm just like, and now he's doing physicals with what? It's just, man. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> you know, there's some people that just like they know they're dope and good. I know Rio <laughs> knows he's good. Like I think you know when you just know you're gifted. That's yeah. But he's a he's a he's a good dude. He's not like oh yeah, he's, so he's humble. humble. He's a nice oh, yeah. dude. He's so yeah. humble. But, he's out uh, there, yeah. He's so humble, Wait. but also like very confident in his work. I think that's what sure. I want to say. Like, yeah, there it the is. Beauty yeah. in seeing someone know that they're so confident in their work, uh, because even with me, like I go to different mediums, but you know, I have a team, and I'm you know more of that. Like, I take the creative director route. Don't don't he, knock yourself down. Don't <laughs> knock yourself down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, you know, <laughs> hey, you give credit where it's due. That's he right. has learned, and he will master, and he will take the time, yes. and he will do all those things, and. And it's it's just amazing because when he does it, you know, he does he it the execution is just like oh my gosh, have you been how long have you been doing this for? Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it'll never and, be as long as you think it should be <laughs> at all. And 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 the thing about it too is that he'll show you the process. He'll show you yeah. him starting it and whatever. And oh, you're yeah. like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And even the process photos or whatever, you're like, oh my gosh, like how's you, like that's that's you beginning you know and and so um i would say rio is 
someone I definitely look up to. Um, yep. Uh, from from music to like to Just visuals to to physicals, like ah, ah so man, good. so good. Good, good choice, Adam. Thank you. No, I I take very little credit. I give that all to to Rio, um, and to you for for coming today, man. I I cannot thank you enough. Um, do you have anything coming up that we should uh, you want to plug? You want to talk about what's uh, what's on the horizon for? for um, I think I have a project coming up. You think we'll see? Man just we'll dropped on ordinals like a couple weeks ago. What a ago. tease! He thinks well, he's got something. Well, I hope is, like, we're gonna be as honest as possible. Like you know, I'm an artist and. I, I want to make sure that my work is on point and oh, yeah. you know, I, I've never really been good with deadlines, so we'll <laughs> see. Um, and I've been out here saying like, yeah, this and that, but we shall see, okay. um, you know, and, and, you know, the happening is happening and all those things. So, you know, we'll, we'll see, but oh, I, yeah. you know, but okay. uh, I don't think I'm the only one that's probably trying to do it or no drop on here. <clears throat> uh, oh, so <laughs> Hey, you know me, I've already inscribed. I have not, I have not inscribed, and uh, I'm not making it before the happening. I don't think <laughs> I'm not trying to rush in and be. I'm like, not going to release mine before the happening, but yeah, I don't think anyone's um, gonna is wants to release. I think a lot of people just want to inscribe. I was advised not to. People yeah. were like, "If you're not doing runes, just wait," because people only care about runes right now. Yeah, it's so. a matter. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. But other than that, um, other than that. There might be there might be a few more other things. We'll see. Um, I think I'm just really also. I think with this year, I'm just moving with intention. I'm being way more intentional. I'm not saying I, I was never intentional before. No, but, you're, you know, you're good at that, man. I think that's what you got to do. But but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think I'm chilling. <laughs> good for you, man. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Which is hard to do. I don't like chilling. So. <laughs> oh, someone what is that? Oh, nice. uh, but yeah, bye bye bye. Sorry about that. I just made it. I just made this whole ghetto like the show ghetto by just picking up my phone. <laughs> that was it. We got it. We you know what? We're scrapping it. Yeah, We're that was it. that was the alarm saying show's over. Show's over, everybody. There it is. Thank well, y'all so much. I this was that. awesome. Thank you so much for also incorporating more music and, and to the you know the show. Shout out to the musicians, shout out to everybody in Web3 keeping it going. Thank you all, Brian. And shout out to Ed. Yes. All right. Any any closing thoughts, Brian? um no I, i'm this was this was a lot of fun and shout out to adam for figuring out all the tech of this music stuff it, it you know we'll get faster at it but everything worked pretty well um yeah uh, shout out to adam know. for getting on me too i was like oh this is gonna work i couldn't get i couldn't connect my twitter to my <laughs> top laptop i was just like got oh this. no got <laughs> yeah. we made we made it happen a couple weeks in we made this happen we're yeah. here we're not um, going anywhere should we tease next week's guest or do we know uh, well, I want to know. Uh, well, I mean, if everything goes to plan, it'll be uh, Al Crego. Oh yeah, cool. That'd be great. I just need to remind. Let's go. You. Looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, but I yeah. think that's that's the plan, man. That'll be fun. He yes. he's he's got a lot of thoughts. It'll be great. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> and the, the man is a master of his craft, so I'm I'm very excited to dive into his process more. Awesome. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who watched live. Thank you for everybody who's retweeting, streaming, checking out the replay 16 months from now. Thank you. We appreciate you doing your dishes and listening to us. Um, and uh, yeah, we do this every Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we hope to see you back and uh, check out the thread. We will have all the links to all the things we talked about today. Go show some artists some love. And uh, until next time, have a good one. Later. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good stuff.